watching Cairo 7 Eyewitness News, dedicated, straightforward Seattle news coverage. Now at 11, the war on wages is about to impact your stomach. We deserve to get paid, too. In less than 24 hours, a call to boycott big burger chains at peak mealtimes. These are valuable jobs that they're trying to make go away. Tonight, how this minimum wage hits the drive through from breakfast through the dinner rush, protesters plan to surround fast food restaurants. They are demanding a $15 an hour minimum wage, and they are hoping you will boycott the drive through with them. New at 11, Kyber 7's Gary Horker is live in Seattle, where the boycott will begin in a few hours. Gary. Right, they'll start promptly at 5 a.m. and they'll target this McDonald's on First Hill on Madison, guys, because this restaurant happens to do the biggest breakfast business of any McDonald's in our entire area. One of the protesters who's busy working tonight inside will be demonstrating outside tomorrow. About the time your day's over, a new overnight shift begins for McDonald's workers like Taryn Lyons, who says McDonald's has given her great opportunities, but... I agree with the boycott. She'll join hundreds of fast food workers tomorrow lining up to boycott big burger chains across Seattle. Even though I support the boycott for the $15 minimum wage, I'm not against the fast food companies. I think it's in a lot of people's favor, even people who don't have kids. We want to be able to support ourselves better. As a single mom, Taryn supports two little boys on 985 an hour. For the last year, she's left them each night. You can go sleep. We'll see you in the morning. I can't go to sleep. I got to go to work. Taryn says people who marched in the last protest and even flooded into the restaurants object to the pay scale and not the jobs themselves. I'm not dissing the company either. I just, like I said, all I wish is that we got paid just a little bit more. But on the other side, a plan to bust the boycott. What I'm encouraging people to do is to buy more, not less. Rick Forsler says a big boost in fast food business tomorrow will promote more entry-level jobs at a fair level of pay, and he hopes it sends a message to the protesters. It'll backfire on them. We want that to backfire because this, these are valuable jobs that they're trying to make go away. So to that end, Rick Forschler is busy posting these flyers around Seattle, and it says HELP. It's an acronym. Start, it stands for Honoring Entry-Level Positions. He's hoping you will help him break the boycott tomorrow. He says a $15 minimum wage will cost entry-level jobs. By the way, the protesters refer to Forschler as promoting poverty. Live tonight on First Hill in Seattle, I'm Gary Horker, Kyra 7 on Witness News. Well, stay with the team that stays on the story. We're following movement on tomorrow's day-long protests. Join us starting at 4.30 a.m.